you doing right now, babe? I'm trying to set up a ch a, the ground on the chassis. The inverter needs to be grounded, and to do that, I need to get a really clean metal surface. This is an old seat belt, and then I'll have this just attached to the chassis, and then this is the ground for the inverter, and then I'll have a ground from the uh, sub panel, which will go to the same place. But uh, I really don't know what the heck I'm doing, so it's kind of nerve wracking. I don't know if I'm going to do it, if I'm doing it right or what. You can but do I mean, it. Even if I do it, is it right? I don't know. Is it I'm, right? Going to cause a fire or something? I don't know. No, that's very extreme. <laughs> <laughs> So right now I'm just setting up a ground wire because we want to be able to ground our electrical system to the chassis of the bus. And uh, this is what I want to ground it to. This looks to me like the most solid, long piece of metal that is welded to the rest of the bus. So this is going to be what I would imagine is the best ground. Uh, if you're an electrician and you know more about this stuff, please let us know in the comments because I'm not going to lie, I don't really know what I'm doing. A hole right here, and I, got a, I have a bolt that fits that. I've ground that down. This, even though it's a bit discolored and brown, it is pure metal. I can feel it, and I can see the shiny metallic surface. And so what I'm using, I'm taking one of the old bus screws like this, putting it through here, and then I've got two washers that I'm putting over it. Those will contact the metal. I've got my ground wire that's going on top of that. And then I've got a lock, lock nut and a metal nut to go on top of all of it. I look and stare so deep in your eyes. Oh, so I've, um, I'm just wiring up this inverter that we have. Got the red going to the red and the black to the black. Uh, I'm gonna install these. I need to put some screws on the tops of these. The black, the remote. This is for the uh, solar controller, which we've uh, mounted right next to the refrigerator. And this is the battery temp. This is actually hooked up to the batteries. Touching you mama every time When you leave I'm begging you not to go Call your name two, three times in a row Such a funny thing for me to try to explain How I'm feeling on my pride is I want to blame Well I just ran all the wires And I just have this last AC input I had it all wired up before And uh, so this will be the shore power This is to our sub panel um, I hooked up this ground So our ground has another piece right here this is the ground for the DC um, part of the inverter, and then this is the ground for the AC, and these both go to the chassis. Um, I'm pretty confident with that ground, and then this is blue is hot, and then yellow is neutral, and I've hooked yellow to out one inside of here, and then the AC in here is going to go to the hot on our sub panel. I'm not positive about that, but that's how it is right now. And then I'll just keep reading the manual. I'm just going to keep reading the manual. It's getting closer, but because I know so little about electricity, it's all very uh, intimidating to work on this stuff. And uh, basically just thinking, watching YouTube videos, reading this installation manual, and praying that I don't burn everything down or blow up the <laughs> inverter. <laughs> what have you been up to, V? <laughs> you won't blow anything up. I'm sure of it. I still don't understand just how you love can do it, no else can. Got me looking so crazy right now. You love and I have just finished sanding the ceiling. Our friend Tate was here. He helped with about an eighth of the ceiling. Great job, Tate. Love you. Thank you very much. And I did the rest. Now the ceiling is sanded. Woohoo! No more sanding. No more sanding. So to sand the ceiling, I use this large tile sponge with a sheet of 220 grit sandpaper and some duct tape to secure it. It actually worked a treat. I got a really good arm workout and now we're ready to stain the ceiling. Time to stain, time to stain. Very, very excited. So today I worked a lot on the electrical stuff. I wired up the inverter and I plugged it in and turned it on. That was really exciting. 
Um, here, let me show you, show you what's going on. This is for the solar panel. As you can see, it's dark, so nothing's happening right now, but it's all wired into a battery. And this is the inverter charger controller. So this is uh, theoretically turning AC, turning the DC power of the battery bank into AC voltage. Here's the thing is though, it's not actually working. My sub panel is probably wired up incorrectly. So when I slip the, the breaker on, it just goes back to the middle. So that means I must have a short or maybe I just completely wired it backwards or wrong. But the batteries are on and we could start using 12 volt using solar powered batteries and I feel pretty confident that that system's correct. I just don't think I got the AC one right. I finished sanding the ceiling. That's great. Yeah. So we used eight inch plywood on the ceiling and I used 220 grit sandpaper. It worked a treat. Very happy. Now we can stay. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any uh, ideas on electrical, how to wire a sub panel with a 2000 watt go power inverter, then I would be all ears. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoy the movie. Bye.